Hello YouTube, today we're looking at the um, call and SMS uh, identifier uh, macro so there's um, not just call and SMS that it identifies actually it's compatible with um, WhatsApp, Signal and Telegram and so on um, that's with the notification received trigger here there's other ways to access this application sorry this uh, macro um, so when we receive a text that's not in our contacts um, it will it will trigger and then incoming and outgoing calls are also to trigger it now it comes with a widget as well so what we can do is to add the widget we go back to our home screen and long press anywhere that there's a space and then choose widgets and then we can search for macrodroid so if I do that and then it's under custom and then um, where's custom at oh, it's at the top so custom and then it pops up there with your other macros uh, you don't have to have the widget it's just an option so then what happens is um, let's do the widget option let's um, I should really have copied a, a number to my clipboard because uh, one's phoned for my uh, delivery when Amazon and so on have, have contacted me but they're sort of generic numbers so it doesn't expose anyone's uh, ruin anyone's privacy um, anyway so what this one's doing is it's was um, prompted to I'll just do test trigger. There we go. It's, it's actually remembered the number that I uh, just copy it. So we get the option by when we launch the macro via the widget, we get the option to enter a number. So we're going to enter the number and then press OK. And then we get two options. We can either find out information if we're not sure what the number's for, or we can share our experience. <coughs> So if we've had the numbers rung us or texted us or made contact with us and we want to let others know whether the number's a good number or a bad number or anything like that, that's what we would choose. So for now, we're going to tick that one and then it's going to load up um, some options. So we have options one to seven and it's a scrollable box so that you can see it all the options so what we can do is we press one so we press the corresponding number so one is is okcaller.com as an example two is free lookup.net and three is um call filter so and and so on there's seven and i'll press this one for now so it's loading the browser now and it's going to take us to the page and that's the number that we've just copied it's it's a generic number so we won't worry about this lot this is just information about what the site does and bits about the number now we get to make our comments in here about the number itself but I'm not going to do that at the moment because I've already we've already got some comments here now on my display this isn't particularly clear but it's okay it doesn't really matter so we're zooming in now and we can see that somebody's put its delivery number and it's and it's safe and that's right that's what happens it's it's it, that's a correct information it isn't always correct but this time it is so now that we've got that what we can do is come back out of here and go back um yeah back into test widget next and then let's have a look at some something like um option two i'm not going to run through all these options but we'll just look at a couple of examples so then we can choose is the numbers uh, these are different number um identifiers we can is it a scammer well a spammer no it's not a spammer 
and then we can see what other people have written further down and we can see bits of information I'm saying that I can't find the comments I must have scrolled past them oh there's no comments right in which case we can put a comment then so it is in fact Deliveroo and it is indeed safe a Deliveroo driver actually let's do that Drover, driver there <laughs> Right, so submit, let's just do that. Now we'll go back to the macro and I'll show you what happens when we look for um, information. So again, it's asking us about the number, it's remembered the number we've typed and we press next. Oh, it's automatically selecting this option. This is probably the best option. Obviously you've got multiple options. You, it's always going to select this one because it just gets you the information. So we press OK and then we've got a pop-up at the top and it's giving us some information about the number from the different sites that it's passed and we won't worry about the pop-up about drops in the, in the middle just then that's uh, something completely different anyway now we've got a notification with some information about the caller that's come up at the top in purple so in bold we've got the name of the macro so it says call an sms identifier and then it's saying it was triggered by a widget or notification click so we triggered it with the uh, widget but once we've had a call or any other trigger that's put the notification here so anything that makes the macro execute as you've seen there's a notification here if we click the notification it will then start the macro so we can um, cast a report if we want to so that's why it says that so it's saying it's a number from Leeds so there's there was seven websites that it was it was passing information from in the dialogue that we looked at a minute ago where we got to choose the numbers but in addition to that it's um, getting the information about the number from the Ofcom's um, website so Ofcom is the Office of Communication in the UK and they are the body that governs phone numbers and things um, along with broadband and everything that sort of thing um, similar to the American FCC so we've got that it's a leads number and then we've got some comments so it says ok caller.com comments are it's delivery and it's safe same with um, freelookup.net should I answer says that it's positive unknown phone comments are um, somebody's comment says that they were calling at 3am with the delivery so they must have ordered it that time in the morning who knows so it is um, it is prone to people putting whatever they want so if if unfortunately somebody's had a bad experience then they may well put that on the on the site and there's that's that's kind of the point in the macro is that people can judge whether to answer the calls or not so if we click this notification now it's prompted us to choose a number to um, to check which is the same as what we did when we got the widget so um, yeah and then we can cancel it if we need to and like I say it's automatic if you place a call to a number that's not in your contacts or you receive a call from something that's not in your contacts or you get an SMS so a text um, I did try it without bound SMS and it just I didn't manage to get it working properly it, it did and it's possible but it just got annoying so I just turned it off 
um yeah like i say whatsapp and that's compatible um yeah uh so the macro gets better the the results get better the more people report numbers so you know if they're reporting saying it's safe that's great if they're reporting saying it's not safe you know whatever your experience is to to do that now that's not the only feature that's in here another feature is that it will read the first um two websites which were if i remember rightly um so it's doing some internet checking stuff here so if there's no network it'll wait until there is one and, and things um okcaller.com was the first one let's just check <laughs> yeah it was yeah yeah it was it's here um everything's happening here okcaller.com so it reads them comments and then obviously if that's empty there's nothing to read so it'll read um it's getting ready to here it just puts the volume up and things um then it reads from freelookup.net and so um yeah and then it it is clever enough that it doesn't do it, it doesn't read aloud although it still works it reads doesn't read if you um, in do not disturb mode and you can turn the speech off if you set this speak variable to false then it won't read I'm gonna keep it on but it then it it won't read so if for whatever reason um, yeah um, so that's pretty much everything huh? it's been a long video but it's it's yeah it's quite a massive macro so yeah um and i'll keep working on it and see if i can make it better and and that see what we can do because there's always going to be bugs but if i can fix them then i'll i'll do my best so anyway yeah thanks for watching and uh take care and uh goodbye